welcome to lecture series EPG Padasala for Computer Science. In this lecture, we will be discussing the pre project software quality components and the importance of contract review for software quality. Learning objectives outline the relationship between contract review and software quality, describe the various stages of contract review, outline the importance of carrying out contract review for internal projects, explain the various directions for implementing a major contract review. Major content of this presentation has been prepared from the textbook Software Quality Assurance from Theory to Implementation, authored by Daniel Gelin, Pearson Education Limited 2004. What is a project? A project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service or result. What do I mean by temporary? When I mean temporary, every project has a definite beginning and a definite end. The end is reached when the project's objectives have been achieved or when it becomes clear that the project objectives will not or cannot be met and the project is terminated. If a technical, economic and operational feasibility is conducted and if a project is initiated, the project's objectives can be achieved. Terminating a project after it has been initiated is the outcome of poor feasibility study. We are aware that the goal of feasibility study is to decide whether to go ahead with the project or not. If the feasibility study has been conducted considering all the factors with respect to technology, budget and operational feasibility. Then once the project is initiated, it can be successfully completed. We are aware that a project creates unique deliverables which are products, services or results. The presence of repetitive elements does not change the fundamental uniqueness of the project work. A product or artifact that is produced is quantifiable and can be either an end item by itself or a component item. Project objectives to have a successful software project, the project objectives should be clearly defined. This has an impact on quality, specific that is concrete and well defined, measurable that is satisfaction of the objective can be objectively judged, achievable that is within the power of the individual or group concerned to meet the target, relevant the objective must be relevant to the purpose of the project, time constraint there is defined point in time by which the objective should be achieved. To achieve the project objectives and to ensure the product developed is quality assured, managerial tasks are involved. Management involves the following activities, planning, deciding what is to be done, organizing, making arrangements, staffing, selecting the right people for the job, directing, giving inspections, monitoring, checking on progress, controlling, taking action to remedy holdups, innovating, coming up with solutions when problems emerge, representing, liaising with clients, users, developers and other 
stakeholders. Each activity which I have mentioned has to be carried out carefully only if each activity mentioned is carried out to full satisfaction, you can deliver a quality assured software product. Project management is the application of knowledge, skills and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. Project management is accomplished through the application and integration of the project management processes of initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, controlling and closing. Managing a project includes identifying requirements, establishing clear and achievable objectives, balancing the competing demands for quality, scope, time and cost, adapting the specifications, plans and approach to the different concerns or and expectations of various stakeholders. Contract. Contract is the basis for considerable litigation when delivered software does not perform as expected. Purpose to arrive at a realistic budget and timetable and discovering pitfalls early. Then to arrive at final contract draft with these important parameters revealed. Why contract review? Several situations can lead a software company to sign a contract with a customer. The most common are participation in a tender, submission of a proposal according to the customer's request which we state as request for proposal, receipt of an order from a company's customer, receipt of an internal request or order form from another department in the organization, request for proposal. Request for proposal is a solution made often through a bidding process by an agency or company interested in procurement of a commodity, service or valuable asset to potential suppliers to submit business proposals. A good request for proposal allows contractors or a project team to understand what the customer expects so that they can prepare a thorough proposal that will satisfy the customer's requirement at a realistic price. A request for proposal must provide a statement of work. A statement of work deals with the scope of the project, outlining the tasks or work elements the customer wants the contractor or project team to perform. The request for proposal must include the customer requirements which define specifications and attributes. The request for proposal should state what deliverable the customer expects the contractor or project team to provide. The request for proposal should list any customer supplied items. Guidelines for request for proposal. The request for proposal might state the approvals required by the customer. Some request for proposals mention the type of contract the customer intends to use. A request for proposal might state the payment terms the customer intends to use. Request for proposal should state the required schedule for completion of the project. Request for proposal should provide instructions for the format and content of the contractor proposals. Request for proposal should indicate the due date by which the customer expects potential 
contractors to submit proposals. A request for proposal may include the evaluation criteria. Criteria may include the contractors experience with similar projects, technical approach proposed by the contractor, the schedule. Will the contractor be able to meet or beat the required schedule? Reviewing contracts. A bad contract is characterized by loosely defined requirements and unrealistic budgets and schedules and is expected to yield low quality software. Sometimes some contractors quote less to win the contract. The budget for completing the project may be less. However, they may compromise in the quality of the software product. That is the reason I have stated a bad contract is characterized by loosely defined requirements and unrealistic budgets and schedules. This may yield low quality software. Since the companies follow a bid to win strategy, quote less to win the contract. Software quality assurance program performs its preventive quality assurance efforts with a review of the proposal draft and contract draft. The two reviews are aimed at improving the budget and timetable. The review process is conducted in two stages. Stage 1, review of the proposal draft prior to submission to the potential customer, proposal draft review. Stage 2, review of contract draft prior to signing, contract draft review, proposal draft review objectives. The objective of proposal draft review is to make sure that the following activities have been satisfactorily carried out. Customer requirements have been clarified and documented. Alternative approaches for carrying out the project have been examined. Formal aspects of the relationship between the customer and the software firm have been specified. Identification of development risks, adequate estimation of project resources and timetable, examination of the company's capacity with respect to the project, examination of the customer's capacity to meet his or her commitments, definition of partner and subcontractor participation, definition and protection of property rights, contract draft review objectives. The three contract draft review objectives that make sure the following activities have been satisfactorily carried out. No unclarified issues remain in the contract draft. All understandings reached subsequent to the proposal are correctly documented. No new changes, additions or omissions have entered the contract draft implementation of a contract review, factors affecting the extent of a contract review are project magnitude, project technical complexity, degree of staff with experience in the project area, project organizational complexity. A project that is contracted has to be developed and deployed with high quality. The factors mentioned here plays a major role. One major factor is expertise or human resources, I can state. That is why 
I have mentioned earlier itself, staffing plays a major role. Identify the right person for the right task. Experience in previous projects similar to the project contracted also plays a major role. We are aware that each stage in the software development life cycle requires expertise. We need expertise to identify the functional requirements and prepare the software requirement specification document. We need expertise to understand the requirements specified in the software requirement specification document and translate the requirements into an architectural design. We need expertise to arrive at a detailed design from the architectural design. We need expertise to translate the detailed design into code, then expertise to test the product and expertise to deploy and maintain the product. Who performs contract review? The leader or another member of the proposal team, the members of the proposal team, an outside professional or a company staff member, a team of outside experts. The goal behind performing the contract reviews is to identify whether there are any deviations from the customer requirements. Next, whether the coding standards followed or appropriate. Once a review is being conducted, the review members present both the positive and negative comments, so that corrective action can be taken. Implementation of a contract review for a major proposal. Major proposals or proposals for projects characterized by very large scale project, very high technical complexity, new professional area for the company, high organizational complexity. We are aware that unless proposal is evaluated appropriately by an expert team, it is very difficult to arrive at a conclusion. The difficulties of carrying out contract reviews for major proposals, substantial, fundamental and inherent difficulties in performing the contract review are time pressure. Proper contract review requires substantial professional work. The potential contract review team members are very busy. Careful planning of contract reviews is required for their successful completion. They are, the contract review should be scheduled, a team should carry out the contract review, a contract review team leader should be appointed, the contract review should be scheduled, contract review activities should be included in the proposal preparation schedule, leaving sufficient time for the review and ensuring corrections to be made. Teamworks make it possible to distribute the workload among the team members, so that each member of the contract review team can find sufficient time to do his or her share. Team dynamics plays a major role here. The activities of the team leader include recruitment of team members, distribution of review tasks among the team members, coordination between the members of the review team, coordination between the review team and the proposal team, follow up activities, especially complaints with the schedule, 
summarization of the findings and their delivery to the proposal team. Contract reviews for internal projects. Consider any organization, an organization will be organized into departments. Each department will have set of routine activities that has to be carried out. So, each department will require a transaction processing system. A substantial number, if not the majority of software projects are internal projects. In house projects carried out by one unit of an organization for another unit of the same organization, which means the organization can have a software development wing which can develop and maintain transaction processing systems for other units or departments. In such cases, the software development unit is a supplier while the other unit can be considered as the customer. Now, typical internal projects and their in-house uh, customers, types of internal projects, administrative or operative software to be applied internally, the in-house customers, administration and operating units, project examples, sales and inventory systems, financial resource management, human resource management, software packages originally intended to be sold to the public as off the shelf packages, the in house customers, software marketing department, project examples, computer games, educational software, word processors, firmware to be embedded in the company's products, the in house customers, electronic and mechanical product development departments, project examples, electronic instrumentation and control products, household amusement equipments and machinery. What is the importance of carrying out a contract review for internal projects? The loose relationships maintained between the internal customer and the internal developer increase the probability of project failures. This trend can be reduced by adequate procedures that will define the preparation and by applying the same guidelines used for external project contract review. Loose relationships are usually characterized by inadequate definition of project requirements, poor estimates of required resources, poor timetable or scheduling, inadequate awareness of development risk. Let me tabulate the disadvantages of loose relationship in internal projects. Subject, inadequate definition of project requirements, disadvantages to the internal customer, implementation deviates from needed applications, low satisfaction, disadvantages to the internal developer, higher than average change requirements, wasted resources due to introducing avoidable changes, poor estimate of required resources, the disadvantage to the internal customers, unrealistic expectations about project feasibility, disadvantage to the internal developers, substantial deviation from development budget, friction between units in induced by requirements for budget additions, poor timetable, the disadvantage to the internal customers, missing schedule dates for beginning distribution of new products, disadvantage to the internal developers, development activities are under time pressure and tend to suffer from low quality, late project completion causes delays in freeing staffs for the next project, inadequate awareness of development risk, the disadvantage to the internal customer is customer unprepared for project risk and their consequences, disadvantage for the internal developer is 
tardy initiation of efforts to overcome difficulties. To summarize, contract review process originates in the customer supplier relationship and is very much fruitful for external projects and internal projects. Factors that affect the extent of the contract review and difficulties in performing a major contract review are listed and avenues for implementing a major contract review are recommended. I acknowledge the authors of the books which I have referred and the web resources I have used for this presentation. As a concluding remark, I would like to state that appropriate reviews, inspections are required at each stage of the software development life cycle to develop a quality assured software product. Above all, before you select the contractor, the documents submitted by the contractor must be scrutinized, evaluated and judged whether the contractor will be in a position to translate your requirements into a product which will be a quality assured software product. Thank you.